these are practice problems that I have assigned you for homework and some of the problems actually uh, are type of problems that you haven't tried them in class yet and they're more challenging so I'd like to um, show you a couple examples that way even though we haven't done them in class you can go ahead and uh, use this video to try it on your own that way um, you can come back and participate in the discussion so let's start with the first one section one is the easiest one where they give you the product and you have to identify what type of reaction it is if you look at it carefully here you have um, copper metal reacting with chlorine gas remember chlorine gas is one of the diatomic elements and they are both elements uh, forming compound therefore it's a synthesis reaction and let's go ahead and balance this so you have copper and chlorine you have one copper to chlorine one and one on the product side so copper is not even yet so you need to put two here that also changes chlorine um, then we know that copper it, on the left side needs to be changed to two that way both sides have equal number of atoms um, conservation of mass and they're all balanced okay so the second problem actually on the on your problem set they actually give you the products but I actually went ahead and deleted it so we can do a little bit more challenging problems together so here uh, you have methane which is a hydrocarbon molecule and when you have hydrocarbon reacting with oxygen gas it's a combustion reaction and in combustion reaction you have uh, CO2 carbon dioxide and water as your products okay so always remember you don't you don't try to like put together um, just as in single displacement or anything right like that when you have hydrocarbon and oxygen right away write down the product as CO2 and water molecule so let's go ahead and balance this carbon hydrogen oxygen are the atoms that we have to take care of so first go ahead and count them so one and then you have three oxygen and two hydrogen on the right side when you look at the things that you have to balance I think it would be easier to start from hydrogen rather than oxygen trying to make oxygen to six is a little bit more challenging than hydrogen so we'll just go from the easy route so um, let's try to put two here trying to make hydrogen four that changes oxygen to four because you have two here and two here if you add them up it's four so now we can just finish off by putting two in front of the oxygen gas on the left side so section two is actually difficult um, a little bit more difficult than the section one because they don't give you the product and you have to come up with the product first so it involves one extra step so first identify what type of reaction it is and if you look at it you have two ionic compound so you have plus and minus plus and minus and they're gonna break bond that's a chemical reaction is breaking the existing bond and forming a new bond so lithium will pair up with chlorine and barium will pair up with sulfate uh, it makes sense that opposites attract so therefore you have to pair them up correctly and the other thing that you have to be careful with is that you always list the cation first when you form a compound so let's make sure that we have the right compound so lithium will form a bond with chlorine lithium has a charge of plus one chlorine has a char charge of minus one so we therefore we need one of each so lithium chloride barium charge of plus two sulfate is a polyatomic ion with the charge of two minus if you actually do the crisscross you will see that you have two of each but um, you can always simplify it to make it barium sulfate as one of each so this would be the right answer so your products are lithium chloride plus barium sulfate and always get into the habit of leaving a little bit of space and put a line under so you don't forget to balance it so write down all the things that you have to balance that they are barium chlorine and lithium and sulfate and when you have a polyatomic ion on both sides just list them as a group rather than single atoms as separately as sulfur and oxygen um, that would be easier to balance the whole thing because they are existing both sides as a group so that's a little trick that I want to um, show you to make things easier so lithium is 2 on the left side, sulfate is 1, barium is 1, chlorine is 2 lithium here is 1, 1, 
1 and 1. So we can start from anywhere. Let's start from lithium. We can put a 2 here and that actually changes both of that and you're done. And this again is a double displacement reaction. The last problem actually um, you have to translate your naming compound skills where you have to translate the name of the metal to formula and then give the products. Actually, I actually modified the problem uh, by cutting the products off so it's more challenging because always when you can do more challenging problems then the easy problems become even easier. So let's go ahead and do the barium metal. Barium in the metal state is in element form and by itself reacting with iron 3 sulfate. Go, let's go ahead and write this as a formula iron 3 that means iron gets a 3 plus charge sulfate is SO4 2 minus if you do a crisscross Fe gets 2 and then sulfate we need um, 3. If you're not familiar with the crisscross method all we're trying to do is make this whole iron as plus 6 make this whole iron as minus 6 therefore we need 2 iron and 3 sulfate that's what we're doing here so that's one of your reactant and uh, it's a single displacement reaction because you have one element that's reacting with a compound so this break is gonna break there is no bond to break on the barium side and it makes sense that barium would form a bond with sulfate rather than iron because uh, both have pluses char when they lose electron from the element state and basically opposites attract and the same charges repel so um, barium will form a bond with sulfate so barium before we already done this um, barium has a 2 plus charge sulfate is a 2 minus charge if we put them as a compound is barium sulfate and then iron always metal can be um, by itself and, and that would be a solid state aqueous um, if just get into the habit of writing the states and if you get them wrong that is okay at this point but tr just try your best so here you have barium iron and sulfate that you need to balance use the trick again or the um, method where you group leave the sulfate or polyatomic ion as a group because they both appear on left and right side as a group so if you balance sulfur that takes care of oxygen as well so you have one barium, two iron, and three sulfate. So one barium, one sulf uh, sulfate, and one iron on the right side. So we can start anywhere. So we can put two here um, that takes care of the iron. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of the sulfate. That We have to put three here. So that changes sulfate to three. And actually that also changes the barium to three. Now we have to change the barium on the left side and you are done with this balancing equation and again this is a single displacement